The Project Riese locations are located in the mountains near or in the old German town of Waldenburg, now in Poland, Walburg. It's also here that Castle Fürstenstein is located, also the castle that was taken over by the Tod organization who eventually ran Project Riese lies here. And the Riese locations run, as on a rough string, from this location. This city is far more interesting than we initially thought. During the war, a vast amount of industry and research was moved here as it was safe from bombing and far from Russian lines, initially. After the war, the Russian nuclear scientist Threlov later described the Polish historians he had interrogated a German scientist working for the German Postal Service nuclear program here. And he described how he had installed a second cyclotron in a specially adapted mine in Waldenburg. It was run by the SS with special access controls. Metal cars were used nearby at the factory of Huta Florian, so technology was bought by the IBM before the war and used by the Germans at the time. So it's likely this was also the case here. And a highly sophisticated network of communications was supposedly installed here also, including television phones with connection all the way to Berlin. Something that did exist in Germany from 1938, but it was of course extremely rare. Tomas suspects the mine with a nuclear lab was located to be under the park of Goa Pakua in this city today. One of the many factories here were the Wursten Gestoff, where prisoners from many different countries were housed and worked in what was previously a textile mill. Last year I was trying unsuccessfully to locate the factory's underground tunnels. They supposedly produced parts for ME-262s here, amongst other things. Now a Polish military prisoner of war, Tatsu Modetsky, he was sent here to work as a technical expert. And shortly after the war, he gave the first of what was many interviews that always remained the same. He worked in huge underground tunnels of at least three levels, possibly five deep. He states, Labyrinth of corridors arranged over a dozen, or even several dozen kilometers, connected with each horizontally or vertically. The construction was on three levels. He does not exclude the existence of five floors. He is not sure, however, because he only worked on three levels. He had heard about the others in his conversations with fellow prisoners. About 500 meters from the main entrance on the third level, there was an audit carved into the rock, 50 meters long and 10 meters wide. Here the Germans assembled lathe, milling machines, mag, gear, grinders, and other machines. The hull also had six powerful nozzles for drawing and forcing water. According to him, the mysterious bunkers in the underground were to be used for testing of new weapons. He installed heating installations in one of them. He says the bunker has up to three meter thick walls, an area of several square meters, a ceiling of up to seven meters. Entrance to the bunker was protected by double iron doors and the insides were all made of cement. He did not even think the most powerful blast could break such a laboratory. The bunker was equipped with an unknown apparatus such rooms were located on each floors. In one of them, during his stay in the dungeons, tests with the new warheads for V-1s and V-2 missiles were used to be carried out. The Germans themselves talked about it. So besides the jets that were initially made here in the area, we also had helicopter plants, rocket testing stations, and under the code name Rudiger, a large part of German special armaments industry was established here. And given the different witnesses of the large underground installation, it begins to look a lot like all the components for specialty weapons were developed here. And it all sounds very much like the site of Jonasthal, where the same underground have been seen, and aeronautical factories were also located here. In both places, most documentation have been classified just disappeared, like most evidence of the enormous construction projects with over 30,000 prisoners working for them. 
Some of the old buildings are still here, the old factory buildings, but they've all been renovated. Um, it's hard to tell what's inside, but it is definite. There are no more parts of ME-262s or their machinery that all went to the Russians so they could build newer and better airplanes themselves. When well, you see how far down this old fence had extended, there might be something to it. And this may have been one of the old buildings. You see fencing like this. Gates. It all looks the way it was supposed to. See buildings like these it's, were occupied and used by the Germans at that time. This morning I set out to drive through the beautiful Polish countryside because I wanted to show you some of the locations of the labor camps, some of the sites where they worked, and honestly, there's a relation between most here of them are gone. Jonas There's Tal, nothing there but a field. They were all under here, Tamla. A field there. Tamla was apparently There's here. Half of a And they were conducting in somebody's backyard. They were building something. There's so few reminders left of what large, took place here. And underground and, and from it was my completed. Uh, information, Jonas Stahl, I'm standing on the factory floor installing was sinks used to and be radiators. One of the ME262 Same thing here, the Riese project. Halls. Radiators are one of the last things you start period. installing. Way of and apparently with the power laying a foundation of cement or a road, something was operating. It could also have been the factory here on the high wall. This be the loading bay, and in the woods not far from here is one of the labor camps. And there's absolutely nothing there either. And this is the site where the old ME262 plant was. We remember over there with that chimney. And this is where the factory floor essentially was. So everything else was support buildings. So you can actually see the remains of the floor here. There's a very large factory right over there that's been torn down. Interesting on that building. I see markers from mining. You do see some cement residue, more foundations, a few slabs of cement with rebar sticking out of it. Not reinforced, just holding it together. More fence poles. This is what we're actually looking at when we are looking at way too many historical sites. Nothing. See the old factory floor here. Remains of the supporting wall. Divider here. See the still signs of the red brick. My understanding of why this factory came down had nothing to do with any destruction of history or anything malicious. It simply had become old, not maintained, and unstable, and for safety it had to come down. And I'm sure a number of the bricks went into newer repairs of old homes here. So it's forgivable, but it is still sad that. A large factory where a portion of war production was produced is no longer here. So I could show you the production halls and the factories. However, these things happen. Much less forgivable is when it comes to the underground factories, the tunnels, the thousands of meters of cement that are deliberately being kept from us.
if more or several of them are highly radioactive, I understand why they're sealed. But the explanation as to why they are seems to be somewhat lacking. A common theme that seems to be happening in three different countries is radioactive tunnels. Interesting, isn't it? Considering the story that the Germans were so far behind, yet they left behind so much radiation all over Europe in secret constructed underground factories and tunnels. Doesn't match, does it? No. Still barbed wire hanging from the poles. And this building, looking at the construction, was here at that time. Back out here, this is the fence for the old ME262 plant. I literally drive around the, uh, the area now, and I hear rumors that there were tunnels in there. In fact, one of the guys wrote me that he and his friend have been inside some of these. Of course, there's no one here to show me where they are, but um, I think it would be an interesting test to try to find out if I could find. Of course they were not be the tunnels we're looking for, they would only be the utility tunnels for the production facility. There's more water in that than there were last time, but it has been very wet lately. And it's just driving the perimeter of the old plant that was and became a textile firm before and after. Now if I see the large chimney and in there are the bunkers. The <laughs> oh yeah, that's where the air raid shelters are. I do see the whole fenced off area. You can literally drive around it down to the uh, chimney. And this is a rather significant foundation for the factory. Right above is the last real piece, the chimney. And yes, of course there are rumors that the chimney is connected to deeper underground facilities, but I can't really get into or under it at this moment. Well, there's a lot more foundations. Walls. Now there was underground tunnels here, somewhere. I can't say I have any idea where. The factory here was partly demolished some years ago. The other part is once again a textile mill, but with a chance of seeing part of the underground, I had to go back here. Officially it was labeled as an air raid shelter for prisoners, despite the fact that there practically were no air raids here. And with the stories of the huge underground tunnels possibly nearby, I wanted to have a look. And the entrance is not welcoming at all. Those dogs, security, so no footage or video of that. I am sorry.
definitely have to run. I so this is the tunnel under the MA262 plant. Or what was this a tunnel for? Okay, interesting. They thought that this was a uh, shot. Mm -hmm. I know there was an air raid shelter for the factory. Look. It's secured by wood. Secure mining uh, frames. Framework, yeah. And here you have the domes we know so well. shelter why are there grooves for minute for a small rail mm -hmm. That's visible. yeah so they are so why was there small so this is well that doesn't make a whole lot of sense that's the parallel tunnel and there's the red bricks <laughs> X marks the spot down did you bring a shovel I think this is drier. No. I don't think it really matters. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be what it's going to be. This way, I think. make signs like this without explaining. And that's the pivotal way down there. Check for the corner. Somebody's been exploring these in a rather significant way. What the hell's that? Oh, I thought it was a green cup. There, there you go. Oh, there's, there's wood and red bricks and pieces of all... Hey, look at this roof. Look at the ceiling. There's wood and red bricks and pieces of shit in this. How did they, why would they mix? Oh, so it's just sticking through. So this is just, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the red brick ends there. So why is it sticking through there? This is pieces that are mixed in. And then there's a piece of wood dowel there. It's strange, I've never seen... Huh. Regardless if this is a 
rebuilt after the war. No, holiday, holiday. Why they make this hole and they break to make this hole more deep? Why they stop their work? How you think? Why? That's cement. Is that yes, rebar? Bricks and cement. That's why cement. they stop it? What the, why the hole is made not more deep? Why? Because hey, maybe Pedro. something behind. Maybe something is behind. Why they stopped? Well, it's funny because that looks like bedrock yes. and that looks like cement. And here is bedrock. Yeah. So they're thinking this is bedrock behind of cement. It's ne not necessary to conduct more work. But that's not necessarily the case. But if here is very narrow space to go behind this rock, and this rock is not forever, but it's maybe one or three meters and not more, and yeah. it will be next space. Yeah, because why would you put cement behind this wall if that's all it was? Or was a corridor like this one, mm -hmm. but SS man forced personnel, uh, prisoners, with equipment to move big stone, very big piece of rock mm -hmm. from that place to here, stay it, stand it here, yeah. and make walk. Yeah. You know, and then hide somebody over. destroying, see, oh, bedrock, finish. Yeah. Maybe the same, same situation is here. Possibly. Maybe it's only a big rock. It's just strange that you have rock be in front of cement. It's actually strange they stop digging because I find that strange. From, uh, one of our underground objects, when there's a big tunnel like in the Ksiądz, under Ksiądz. And this tunnel is straight, and there's some very big, uh, very big rock is left on the middle of this tunnel. A possible uh, way is on the sides. That's a good way of hiding things. Everybody, uh, most people who really uh, was, which place they choose? The middle. 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 They dream. Oh, they have bricks, bricks, concrete. And then bedrock finish. And here you have bedrock, bedrock behind that again, yeah. But they don't, they don't check it here. This, the bricks, and the blocks and bricks were made according to information after war. Maybe in the 60s, maybe in the 70s. That's what we were before. Well, the strange thing is still why were the tunnels here and why did they need to work on them afterwards? Every time you walk through them like this, or concrete or bricks, another tunnel can going, be going to the side. Yeah. Good camouflage, good mass. Yeah, you see what the wall. Like, uh, like chamber of Mr. Weiss. Mm -hmm. Church. I mean, he wouldn't have forgotten. Do you feel airflow? If you look. I, I, it feels fresh, but yeah, maybe a little air. But there were mini rails here. I don't care what they rebuilt afterwards. There was mini rails coming down this because that's that's clear in the ground. So we can take that as the only thing we know is that they had a narrow gauge rail system. Regular in the normal tunnels, long tunnels, the backgrounds were made of wood. You remember from Fort mm -hmm. But sometimes we can find made of stuff. What is this? Metal what iron. is the difference? Well, no, this is only for temporary, temporary 
part only. Yeah. When they dig, when they explode, uh, when they, they're using explosions to dig tunnels, in the last uh, last uh, part, they were using the mont the, uh, they, they were using the rails, part of lies maybe five meters long, possible to remove before explosion, because they were worried of uh, stones and uh, rocks mm -hmm. after explosion that they can destroy rails. Yeah. So right before was on the wooden, was for ever made, but uh, the last uh, part uh, of the uh, railway was easy to uh, remove before it's gone. Yeah. You see? Second. And metal on bottom, yes. Yeah. Metal pins for rails. See? One yeah. rail, second one rail. 60 centimeters. Oh, I've even, I even seen them in Germany. I found them at the Jurburg. Theoretically, this could go down. It could be a tunnel that could be collapsed. Okay. They could just have not. This is not nice. Probably this is different. Or maybe the no, glaze. It's glaze. But it's with red, with red powder. It's on the surface. Iron, uh, iron oxide is present above. Hmm. Look at this. <laughs> After wood was uh, eaten by bacteria. See? <laughs> On the core of wood. That's middle. Cool. Interesting shape. Very interesting shape. To uh, aquarium, yes. To, uh, <laughs> to, 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 if, you have, if you have fish at home, you can use. I like this mineralization. I have noticed. Yeah, but some people coming and they use hammer and they destroy it. <laughs> They're removing. It was bigger. But you see, <clears throat> here is something. So I don't know what is this. What is this? This here. Something like metal, something like ore. Could it be a drill bit or a dowel or. I don't know what is this. This here. Alright, so the war ends and they're still digging here. They're still working on this. Because the rails were here, not been removed. Poured cement all over. Had the arches, a little bit brick in behind there as well. You can see the whole arch there. See the roof of the arch.
built a little room within the little room. Apartment with restaurant. <laughs> or toilet. Well, if this was a munition, I would say this is where they put the detonators. But. <laughs> well, it has a crack in it. it. has a couple cracks in it. And it also has a pipe in it. Where's that thing going? Is that wood or is that. It's That's wood. It. It's wood. Why is there a wood in there? In the wall? And why is the brick, the red brick, double layer? Why is it settling? It's not made with car. No, this is put up quickly and quickly. unstable to some degree. Probably a little newer cement. Just to be. Just, just, just to go. We could carbon date that. is cement. Breaks first, next cement. Another dead end. For explosives, anything. Or, yeah, there's one there. There's a drill hole. Have I exploded yet? This round is yeah. not, not unexploded. Or oh, they started drilling, or that it looks like some powder could be in there. So, this is what it would look like after an explosion before they started drilling up for the next one. And this plate. After explosion, was a lot of uh, stones here. Uh, Visioners were forced to remove all and clean this place completely. And on a clean floor, they was they they uh, put uh, they were putting metal plates. Why? Because after next explosion, all stones was on metal plates, so easier it was clean. easier, easier to clean. Hmm. Makes sense. As well, part of metal uh, on uh, part of railway on metal uh, backgrounds. It was here, and cart come, they uh, coming, they uh, remove our, our uh, stones from here and rocks, and then. So they were still working if, here. If, if everything was moved from here, carts were uh, sent uh, from the corridor system and they exploded again. Removing this demontable, don't yes, demontable, mm -hmm. demontable uh, part of railway. But that also means that the main entrance this is, is missing. Second 
secret entrance is in front of you, but it's collapsed. Of course. Collapsed is very safe. Uh -huh. You will see. Yeah, I can't see. Last time it was left a uh, yes. beer bottle, but probably somebody, uh, nobody, was uh, so brave to take the bottle. <coughs> Maybe you would do it. If the bottle is uh, still yet, it's still uh, here. <laughs> It's a serious collapse. So is that a collapse or is that a detonation? Is that a destruction? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what. Maybe not one way or maybe... Well, that's hard to say. But look, for what the reason to collapse this part, like the second one was open. But what's what the second? The no, well, maybe the second one wasn't open. Maybe it's been opened the and we The first was open. It was, you, you saw. You mean the one we came in? Yes. Oh, and there's that part, uh, but it wasn't very open. Here were corridors on the side. Uh, same like in Vodash. Uh, C-shaped. Maybe forward. They are, you see? Sharp. Yeah. Blades waiting for us. With cracks. <laughs> it is waiting for somebody. Sort of Democles. But uh, last time there was no collapses because you see the lift on the floor. If you are fresh, you will see fresh stone yeah. and clean roof. Then there's a signal that was it was fresh. Yeah. Interesting. But now it is not. See, it's vertical. You can clean. You can go. I'm just worried about anything above my head touching my head. Yeah, I knew that was here. This is next corridor. And this corridor is going this direction. Next is going to the left, going forward and back here. This is uh, so this an upper square. like a ring. Yes, we saw this. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, in Bodash. Yeah, this definitely yeah, came like down. Guarding, guarding, uh, guarding room, guarding office for guards. Yeah, this. This is version, but this is for guards. But next version is that in this place where uh, was planned to locate. Uh, diesel uh, engines and power generators. I think so is possible. Oh. Hey, last time this was much different. I think so. Uh, two years. I was last time maybe two years ago here. It was collapsed. And everything is here. It was that time. It was on uh, above my head. See, it's sharp, very sharp. Yeah, I know. I see the whole heat. The whole. Head, you will be splitted. I know. Two parts or more. Oh, sticker of clay. Clay lion is sleep. Yes, sleep. Slippery. 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 Yeah. Slippery or slippery? Slippery. Slippery. Yes. Slippery when wet. When wet, yes. When wet. When wet. Yes. Limestone, yes. Limestone is okay. When it's wet, it's slippery. One thing I thought Next was... 20 years and this will be collapsed. Yeah. Except parts here, which are with bricks and with cemented roof. This is a stupid question, but is there any seismic activity in this part of Poland? Do you have earthquakes? 
No. No, sometimes more of them. Not so Not the service. But in my city, if you if you're here, you look on map. If you take the map and from here you're looking for the green direction, mm -hmm. my my uh, city is in the middle of distance to Berlin. So I remember uh, the history of my, of my city was one serious earthquake. The city was destroyed. I'm just saying, since half of the Lisa tunnels are, or the castle tunnels are oh, sealed. You see the original, original uh, oh, uh, wood yes. With? Oh, the, the, this is in good condition. Mm -hmm. Hooks like hooks for rail. From this side. That one was lost or were stolen. Stolen, yeah? Stolen? 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 stolen. Yeah, we can definitely go with stolen. Oh, look at this. Look at the crystals. What crystals? Crystals are shining. Or is no, this the beginning no, 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 of... No, 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 this is not crystal. Maybe... I mean... Calc. 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 Yeah, yeah, I guess. Calc. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Calcium. Well, I guess or it's calcium. Mushroom. Oh, mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, mushroom. Oh, mushroom. Oh, mushroom. Oh, in the dark mushroom. <laughs> So the official story is this was built as an air raid shelter for the people who worked at the factory. Mm -hmm. official version. The official version. Next background, food. People coming here. Everybody wants to steal something from here. Yeah. People steal uh, uh, driveways to build buildings. Do you want this one? <laughs> what? What Next time somebody will take it. No, you know what? I try not to disturb things. I love it. I leave that to other people with bad conscience. You know the rule, we leave things the way we find them. Unless it's a tiger tank, in which case we steal it wholeheartedly. <laughs> if we can. <laughs> Oh, completely. We will completely yeah. wheel it out in the middle of the night. Then we sell and we get a couple of meals off. No, we're going to restore it and drive it around town. <laughs> well, first. <laughs> well, we can sell it, it in the middle. here in the vicinity is one, and uh, Schwadnitz direction is second one. Well, if we find a tiger tank, we can sell it, and then we can buy two T-34s and a couple of cars and still have money left over. <laughs> Where are you, Lamborghini? Oh no, I'm comfortable. Not enough, not enough. No, I'm comfortable cars. From one tank is there. But tank, Tiger tank have a uh, Porsche engine. It does. My back engines. Who is bringing, bringing uh, bones here? Stray animals? Fox? Dogs? Bones? Bones. Maybe some bones. Yeah. Yes. It is. I mean, I wouldn't put it past people to have a barbecue in here. Yeah, I'm just saying they did not wheel carts out of here. What carts? Ra um, uh, rail carts with stuff. Where they were? This was open. It collapsing, after, uh, just collapsed. Yeah, I guess. During last year, after the war, this was uh, open. That's true. Carts were uh, moving from right here, here away from the corridor. Mm. Collapses were later, or pe maybe people bring this up, but I don't think so. So many did they bring. Wouldn't be surprised. The same what you saw in Yavor, yes? Uh -huh. so, take care of your back yep. and head. Well, I don't need it much. If you cut your head, the music will be strong. <laughs> scalp, yes? Not scalp. Scalp is... Oh, I have a lot of scars in there already. 
Anywhere you can cut it. Hang on. Cut it. And this is what's outside the gate. It's the other bunker right there. Which is why I think it's strange. Oh well. Don't want to tell you where we are. Because I don't want you to go here. Sorry. Four huge communication centers were planned here in the area, of which Rudiger should be built in the Fürstenstein Castle and LV 1100 in Needle Salzborn. The completion of Rudiger was set for July 45. The location of the communication centers in the Riese property is still unknown and it will be believed to be in one of the various Riese facilities, Dorfbach, Wolfsberg or Schuffenhofen. And once again we have a small tunnel system or three tunnels and you have a little bit of uh, mounting for generators or electricity sitting out there for the what's it called the compressors but it's a small system with a couple of guard towers that probably have moved since the war unless the rail will be the why were your guard tower there there and there I think the guard towers moved yeah, that's what I thought. Well, petrified bags of cement sitting outside. Don't know if these were original, but pieces of electricity poles, transports, air. One smaller temporary communication bunker is believed to be this bunker, built near the Rajeska tunnel. At the end, 301 kilometers of line were officially laid. So this is sort of the communications bunker, or this is the hub where the telecommunication was be routed through. Through the Risa, and we're right up the uh, up the uh, street from one of the one of the tunnels. Is this on private property, or what is this on? This is just put together by craft. Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, and you still see the old fencing, the original fencing from the war. I mean, not the fence, but the poles. I hope you enjoy history and military history as much as I love bringing it to you. And if you want to see more of the photos and documents I've used for these episodes, documentation and so on, you can go to lostbattlefields.com. And if you feel like helping me out traveling around the world to some of these far-flung locations like Van Allen Brown's first test stand behind me or Deepness nuclear reactor down there or the Magical Line over there, you can donate on PayPal. Uh, protection at serviceint.com. It'll be right here and it is also on lostbattlefields.com. You absolutely don't have to, but I appreciate any help and I love all you guys for all the support you've shown me because history is important. We all know that and I'm going to bring it to you.